It is amazing how the components of the body work together to create the running action of the dog. The running or sprint action is defined as a sequence of action phases. All dogs use the same basic sequence. We will use the Greyhound in this example. Its sprinting stride exaggerates the phases of the stride when compared to other dogs. In general, the rear limbs are used for propulsion and the front limbs for navigation. Propulsion begins at rear leg contact. As the paw touches down, the muscle and tendons are stretched like an elastic band. The digital muscle groups will be affected along with the major muscle groups of the proximal limb. During this phase, the digital muscle groups are contracting, while at the same time they are extending. This action helps to stabilize the foot contact. The digital muscle groups are attached to the toes through the tendons. There is a spring coil effect created by the stretched muscles and tendons. This helps propel the body upwards and forward. The gluteal, hamstring, and digital flexor muscles begin contracting before the paw touches the ground. Propulsion begins at touchdown. During this phase, the hamstring and gluteal muscles are contracting while they are being stretched. Then the hamstring and gluteal muscles begin to actively propel the body forward. After the paw leaves the ground, the propulsion effort is transferred to the other leg until it leaves the ground. The paravertebral muscles play a major role in propulsion. They lift the front of the body up while propelling it forward. Initially, there are eccentric contractions as the back absorbs the forces of impact. The long isthmus, iliocostalis, and transversospinalis, or abaxial muscles of the lumbar region, that act together to lift the body. The apaxial muscles of the lumbar region work with the apaxial muscles of the thoracic region and the gluteals to continue the lifting motion throughout the rear leg stance phase. Forward propulsion is the result of a series of contractions along with the coiled energy release. Speed is dependent upon two factors, stride frequency and stride length. The energy created by the rear limb combined with the action rate or ability to speedily recreate the energy are the main factors of speed.